Hey everybody, it's the coach. Welcome to the special Saturday edition of the NFL on EA Sports. On tap, we've got what should be a fairly intriguing matchup between the San Francisco 49ers and the Green Bay Packers. With that, let's get up to Green Bay, Wisconsin. Standing by for the call from venerable Lambeau Field. Here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. And we come to you from one of the truly iconic stadiums in the NFL as you get a look at Lambeau Field here in Green Bay, Wisconsin. No team means more to a city than the Packers to Green Bay. And this was the scene a few moments ago as the green and gold made their way out of the historic tunnel. They're ready to go as they get set to match up with the San Francisco 49ers. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles kickoff moments away. Quickly, what are you watching in this one? The offensive line for both teams, because both teams have a terrific pass rush. They've got to keep their passers upright. If they have a chance to do that, they can both thrive on offense and move the ball downfield. Mason Crosby of the Packers has it teed up, and off we go from Lambeau. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. And they're led out by a guy who learned from one of the great ones in his first few years in Tom Brady. This is Jimmy Garoppolo. When you're back up to one of the all-time great players, if you don't spend time picking that guy's brain or just watching and observing how he does things to increase your game, then you've wasted that time. I don't think Jimmy Garoppolo is that type of a player. I think those lessons learned have a chance to transmit themselves very well. The drive starts with a completion left side. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Seven yards to pick up on the pitch and catch. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Coleman now. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Good job, D. Good job, D. But we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. And they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. He's got his man, it's Kendrick Bourne. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First down, San Francisco, the pickup, 14 yards. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Garoppolo now, first down throw. Almost able to intercept it. That's one he would have liked to have held on to on this first drive. Instead, second down. And a quick look now at the offense for the 49ers. So let's all work together on this one because it's natural to just watch the football. But I want all of us to watch the center of this offensive line, the center and the two guards. They've got to be able to control the point of attack, and they didn't do such a good job on that last play. Plenty of opportunities to redeem themselves. They'll have to take advantage of that and start to make progress. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. And the big meet on the D-line. We'll see how they do today. And I'd hate to be an offensive lineman having to deal with these guys. They come in hungry, mean, and confident. They think that no one can block them. Here we go. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten to throw. It's Garoppolo. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete, certainly one they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down. It's a great job by this secondary. When I watch them, they remind me of elite defenders on a basketball court, right? They want to contest each and every pass. Great contest on third down to bring up fourth. 
So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. Tyler Irvin back deep. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. So here comes the Packers offense now onto the field. They'll be led out by their highly decorated quarterback, Aaron Rodgers. So pinpoint, so accurate. Sometimes we forget just how good he is. We start to take him for granted because he always places the ball exactly where it needs to be for his receivers. Rodgers will break the huddle and bring the pack up first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Off the play fake to Jones. Here's Rodgers. He gets this to Devontae Adams. But he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Packers. Devontae Adams, an 80-yard touchdown. As his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. An ideal start for them, really. You force the punt, and then you go down and score. And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Because he's turned into his bench, and he's telling his team, this is how we prepare. Force the punt, go downfield and score. I told you guys, it's just like a boxer in the gym preparing for the fight. Now we get to turn it all loose. On is Mason Crosby for the point after. Oh, and this is blocked. That's a live ball scooped up by the offense. That's up. That's up. All right. All right. Of the year. Following the botch PAT, they're set to kick this one away. This is taken at the three. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Here we go, here we go, here Leverage here guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not pump the ball again. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. He was trying to get it to George Kittle. It's tight end. And now it's second down. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. On second down, it's Coleman. They get six here after the incompletion, and it'll leave them with a third and four. All right, Brad, I know we're early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. There is no denying they want to get him involved. That's already the fifth time that they've looked his way in this first quarter. So that tells me defensively that they want to insist on going in that direction. Make sure you get your best people in the area to try and take that away. Here comes the 49ers punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. Rodgers will bring the pack up with a first and ten at the 20. Working from the gun, Rodgers. And this is caught. It's Jimmy Graham. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Give him 15 there, and the Packers have a first. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it, sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. No, no, no. 
Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Here's Rodgers. And, oh, he took that in one-handed. What a grab. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. It'll be a loss of a yard, and it'll be second and 11. It's got some fun when we see guys like that make that type of a catch. Not fair goes through my brain. That size, that speed, and now they're acting like wide receivers, yeah, too. Yeah, tight end one-handed catches. They're kind of like wide receiver one-handed catches nowadays. Just not right. That pass play wound up for negative yardage, so here's second and 11. Rodgers going to throw. Complete. This is Lewis. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 17 yards on the play there as the Packers have the first down as well. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. Rodgers now already over 100 yards passing in just this first quarter. It's first and 10. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. And he finds his tight end, Graham. It's a gain of 12, and the Packers have the first. I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Play action. Now it's Rodgers. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Quickly now, here's a look at the Green Bay offense. It's tough to be an offensive lineman in Green Bay because their quarterback, Aaron Rodgers, knows how to keep plays alive and often extends them for three, four, five, six seconds. But David Bakhtiari, his left tackle, he does it as well as anyone could ever expect. Excellent footwork. Knows that the players are going to stay alive for a long time. Often will get two or three blocks on the same play. 11 yards and a Green Bay Packer first down. Rodgers will bring him up to the line first and 10. And he's 5 for 6 now throwing the ball on this drive. Touchdown, Packers! Two touchdown passes now here in this first quarter for Aaron Rodgers. And the Packers are able to stretch that lead out further. And when the quarterback drops and has a guy that wide open in the end zone, his eyes have to get just as big as grapefruits. Oh, without a doubt. Hey, this is the easiest throw you're going to get, and you're going to get the benefit of a touchdown on top of it. Make that throw. Extra point try now for Crosby. And he atones for his miss the first time around as this one is up and good to extend their lead. So that a seven-play, 80-yard drive. And it ends with a Packers touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. This is taken at the three. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. The San Francisco offense getting their last-minute instructions before they take over here. They've had it twice. they punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. So they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? You know, pass complete here to Sanders. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 18 yards, first down, Niners. One of the selling points of the in route is it gives the quarterback a really nice sight line to his receiver and almost on a direct shot, able to throw the ball into the middle of the field and have a great chance of success as they did on that play.
Here we go, here One we go. play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. They'll run with Coleman on first down. And this will be taken across midfield and into Green Bay territory. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. On the counter, here's Coleman. And he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. The good run on first down followed up by a not-so-good run on second down. Now let's find out they're going to stick with the run here on third down. A lot of people would love to see some play action here. I say go with your best running play over your best blocker. Let's go! Let's go! 13-0 is the score after one on EA Sports. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. To throw is Garoppolo. Oh, he nearly picked it. Maybe daylight in front of him if he could have held on. Instead, second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it indeed. Here come the flags. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it is going to be 15 yards. So now then the penalty's got him set up with a first and goal. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Get your backs to the goal line. I can hear my high school coach right now. This is when force meets force. Got to be physical in order to win this battle. <laughs> yeah, that's where the physicality... And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. A nine-yard touchdown grab as they are now on the board here in the first half. As the offense went on the field to start their last drive, you know they discussed it in the huddle. Hey, if we put one in the end zone here, we've put ourselves in a position to start making a comeback. Robbie Gold on for the extra point. And that'll make it 13-7. So this drive spans seven plays, and it's polished off by a touchdown for San Francisco. So here comes the kickoff, and what now is just a one-score, six-point game. Fielded about a yard deep. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been had he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. It's a four-yard pickup there, and it leaves him with third and five. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean also just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. We'll get this to Jay Kumaro, and they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 14 yards, good for a Packer first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, 
these pants make me look fat? And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. On second and 11 now. Rodgers, they'll set up the screen. This is Williams. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Only a yard there. Sniffed out well defensively, and it brings up third. Throwing is Rodgers on third down. And Graham's got it. Complete. 13 yards, first down Packers. Like so many tight ends nowadays, they have no problem at all putting him in the slot and letting him go to work, and that's a nice pitch and catch right there for a first down. Rodgers now. Only one pass has hit the ground for him. 10 of 11 thus far. It's first and 10. Throwing is Rodgers. The connection made. It's Graham. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage, that didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. And that's a crusher right there. Had his man open for a first down. Threw a fastball when that wasn't necessary. Incomplete pass. One of these quarterbacks going to learn. You don't get extra points for how hard you throw the football. A 56-yard attempt. And he missed it. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Well, this winds up an empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, he'll be disappointed with that effort. Here's Emmanuel Sanders now as he and the rest of the offense march back onto the field. They've got to be thinking, how can we get him a little bit more involved here? Second quarter, you're down, and really, he's been out of the mix. I would agree with that, and oftentimes you hear, well, we're just taking what the defense is giving us, but sometimes that's just not good enough. Sometimes you have to take what you want, and that means getting him the football. Yeah, so far just a single catch in this game. Coleman, and this will be taken across midfield and into Green Bay territory. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. On second down now, it's Coleman, and he'll be brought down, it looks like right at the 40. Seven yards there and a first down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A good pick up there of 20 yards. One of the feature points of the in route is being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field. And for a quarterback, that's one of the better throws and better looks that he'll get. But he has to be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. If he's late with the ball, he can get his receiver hit and hit hard. Here we go. And what's the block? Garoppolo on the draw to Coleman. And now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. On the tackle that time, Dean Lowry. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again, second and ten. On the draw play, Coleman. And a good game here of nine from the 19 down to the 10. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid game. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and those creases like they were able to explode right there. And he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. 
Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Here's Coleman on the draw. And across the chalk into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. A six-yard touchdown run as his guys can now take the lead with the extra point. We've been together a few years, and you know that I really ride the wave of old momentum, don't I? <laughs> yes, you do. There is a heck of a difference between being down six and possibly being up one. And right now, they've got that opportunity. No doubt. That is a big-time score and a big-time swing in momentum. Gold with the extra point, and that will give them the lead here as we get on towards halftime. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. Number 12 back out there. Aaron and his Packer teammates set to begin their drive. He's doing his job, but the bottom line, they're losing. They've got a deficit to make up here, and he knows it. And quarterbacks who last in this league learned that lesson really early. You may have had a great stat line and felt pretty good about how you played, but if your team didn't win, it almost doesn't matter. And right now he's adopted that attitude. How do I get better? How does my team get better? How do we find a way to win the game? Well, he's hoping to lead his team to a successful drive. So a very tight first half. We had to break in a one-point game. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has the look of a game that could very well go down to the wire. Just one point separating these two clubs at the break. But they're ready for the second half, and we are too as we'll kick it right back out to Brandon and Charles. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This will be taken in at the one. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him, as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. Had a little arc on it. He's got to find a way to get his head around to make a play on the football. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Rodgers with a give, it's Aaron Jones. And they'll get this just to the 47, one-yard gain. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. On second and nine, Rodgers. Now look out, Rodgers lost the football. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. An extra DB for the 49ers now on third. 
From the gun, it's Rodgers. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And they will score. It's a 49er touchdown. touchdown. This was a close game. They needed a little breathing room. Boy, they got it right there on that return for a touchdown. Yeah, we would say that this could be huge. Forget it. It was huge. Gave them a comfortable lead. Gold to add the extra point. And with that, the lead is up to eight. So not only the cough up, but then the pickup on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. So here's the kickoff now as they'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. This fielded at the two. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27 yard line. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. Rodgers will break the huddle and bring the pack up first and 10 at their own 27. Now Rodgers. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Those passes out that far wide always make you hold your breath a little bit. Felt like it was in the air for a while. What it does is allows a defender to gain some ground, come from a long distance, and have a chance to affect the pass. Now they're able to swarm him behind the line, and his rough night continues. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. Open man is Allison complete. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. It's a gain of 12, and the Packers have the first. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Rodgers now, 13 of 16, throwing the football. It's first and 10. On play action, Rodgers. It's caught here by Adams. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Chewing up big yardage, another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 41. Shotgun now for Rodgers. He's got the hook up to Lazard. Touchdown, Packers! Allen Lazard, two catches, two touchdowns here so far as his guys have cut the lead down to two. I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? You know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big-time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where'd you pull that one from? And, you know, every now and then I actually listened in history class. <laughs> and you're, you're just a scholar all the way around. You're reading all the time. I like that you fit that in the book. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I just grab a nugget when I can. So now Rodgers will lead the Packers up to go for two. <laughs> They'll look to run for it with Williams. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. They made the decision to go for two. They didn't get it. They remained down by two points. Should they have kicked it there? A third quarter, I'm okay with it. Maybe first or second, you don't. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, I'm. I'm again, I keep coming back to I don't like to chase a lot of points. Yeah. But I also don't know what kicking an extra point being down one does for me. 
Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. This will be taken in at the one. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Out on the field now, here come the 49ers. They have the lead now. They'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. Here we go, here we go, here they we go. like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies, try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. Let's see if they do just that. That one goes for 24 yards. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? And it sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. Give him nine there on the first down completion. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there are more people there to get him down. Two yards, good enough for a first. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I'll bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. This is caught. And across the chalk into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. touchdown. Debo Samuel, his second touchdown of the night. And the Niners are able to stretch their lead. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors, but that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Now gold for the extra point. And that makes it a nine-point game. The drive summary, four plays, 75 yards. And the end result for the 49ers, a touchdown. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he's simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. And now the Packers get set to go. Rodgers will bring the pack up with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that'll bring up a second and 11. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Oh, yeah, I'm coming. Oh, yeah, I'm coming. Again, it's Jones. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe we'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. Give him 10 there. Good enough for a Packer first down. When we see another great performance like this out of Aaron Rodgers, you have to chuckle thinking that his only FBS offer was a walk-on at Illinois. And now he's the pride of Butte Junior College, of course at Cal. And I remember watching him play at Cal, and he would run seven-on-seven -seven drills. Angry if the ball ever hit the ground, and it didn't do it very often. 
This quarterback now over 300 yards down for the game and time to improve on that as he's got a first and 10. Throwing now is Rodgers. Now look out, Rodgers lost the football. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. So first and ten now from the thirty. Let's see what you got. Mike four two. Mike four two. Garoppolo gonna hand this one to Coleman. And he's gonna get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Here we go. And, and that is gonna do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, just like that. They will run again with Coleman. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Here we go, here we go. Right back to Coleman here on first down. He takes us down to about the 12 for a gain of three. Well, no doubt here in the fourth quarter, this is a huge defensive series. Hey, they can read the scoreboard. They realize if they give up a field goal here, this game might be out of reach. They understand the stakes and are playing accordingly. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. Here we go, here we go, here we go. The Niners on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and eight. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. Jair Alexander that time able to knock that one away. Certainly looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. And the 14-year trusty veteran able to knock it through. And that will give them a 12-point lead. So they settle for just the three. But clearly right now, anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off. But it's still eight up time, got points. So... While it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. Fielded about a yard deep. And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Big word. I like it, though, really? because you're exactly you right. That, don't you? All game long, they've struggled moving the ball, turning it over on the last possession. Is that what again? Symptomatic? Okay. Yeah. I like that. Your analysis, symptomatic of the success of this broadcast. What I like is that you gave me the word, and I just kept using it. <laughs> now, the first play of the drive there is incomplete. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Rodgers going to throw again. It's complete to Williams. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. It's a four-yard pickup, and that's going to lead to a third down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. The Packers on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This will be third and six. 
to throw. It's Rodgers. And that is incomplete. Well, we're not playing three yards in a cloud of dust football anymore. I kind of get why those old school coaches sometimes didn't want to throw the football. Because if it's popped up in the air, it almost turns into slow motion. And both sides trying to get to the football, and you're holding your breath wondering whether it's going to go good or bad for your team. Here we go with Williams. And he won't get there. They stop him a few yards short of the line to gain. The Packers unable to pick up the first. And the Niners take over in terrific field position. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur so they can't let that dream go just yet they have to get stout on defense here yeah right now really hoping for a turnover on first down coleman oh he slipped right by him good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first uh, he's still rumbling isn't he still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload but you and I both know, well conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. And what can they do here on second and goal? Three red zone trips so far have yielded two touchdowns and a field goal. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. A loss of two there, second down. Brandon, this is clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. They come out here in the eye. From back at the four, here's second and goal. This is Coleman. And he'll take this into the end zone for a San Francisco touchdown. Tevin Coleman with his second touchdown of the night. And the Niners are able to stretch their lead. On that sideline, they're saying that was more like it. The first down run went backwards, that time into the end zone. And I like their little bit of courage and play calling, too. Because after an unsuccessful run, especially one where you lose yardage, you oftentimes go right to throw in the football. They came right back with a running play, and it paid off handsomely. Gold able to tack on the extra point. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And Tevin Coleman polished it off with a touchdown run. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Here's Rodgers to throw again. And that's complete to Adams. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. The Packers on third down. They've hit four of seven. They're up against a third and one situation. Working from the gun, Rodgers. He's got Adams on the hookup. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. It's a gain of 16 and a first down for the green and gold. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agree. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. Go, 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 go. 
So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Rodgers to throw once more. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Very solid coverage there by the All-Pro Richard Sherman, able to get a hand in. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Now Rodgers throwing again. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. They face a third and four after that last completion gets him six. To throw is Rodgers. He's got his man. It's Williams. There are a lot of tough routes to try and cover. When you see a runner come out of the backfield and run this angle route, looks like they're going to the flat, and then they put their foot in the ground and cut back sharply inside, not easily covered, and then when they catch it, good momentum built up by them as well. And able to pick up the first. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. And again, it's Rodgers. The left side throw complete to Adams. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. It's a gain of 16 and a first down for the green and gold. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, a tight, a sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. Rodgers going to throw, and he finds his tight end, Graham. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. Throwing again on second down. Rodgers, and here he'll get it down to the seven. Six yards on the pickup, and it leads him with a first and goal. Here's Rodgers to throw. And he's got it. It's caught for a Packers touchdown. Geronimo Allison there to make the grab. And the Packers get a score closer. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively, though, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope when they had to slog their way downfield. They got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah. Yeah, yeah you know. It doesn't you gotta, feel right. Exactly. <laughs> Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the 49er hands team does its job. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. There the 49ers getting set to trot out there. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, go, but very little reason to use them at this point. They'll run on first down. It's Coleman. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Coleman. He's got the first down here inside the 30. Touchdown, 49ers! Kevin Coleman, 45 yards. And the Niners are able to stretch their lead. He keeps carrying the ball into the end zone, and in this one, he's sort of carrying the team on his back. He's the reason that they lead right now, no question about it. And you talk about on his back, he's not minding the extra weight at all, is he? 
carrying that just as lightly as he does the football. Yeah, those, what a great performance so far. Those three touchdowns, it's got him in the lead. Gold to add the extra point. And that one makes this a 19-point game. So two plays on that scoring drive. That's how they drew it up. And the long run into the end zone, and what a run it was. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Out comes Devontae Adams in the offense for their next drive. Seems like the measuring stick for a receiver for a great game is 100 yards. Well, he's well past that now. And as we analyze how he's getting him, that's where it really becomes fun because, let's face it, they keep sending coverage at him, keep trying to put the pressure on, yet he finds ways downfield and finds openings. That's a really crafty receiver. They go over the middle, and it's complete to start the drive. A good pick up there, eight yards on the first down completion. Now they got to get to the line quickly to throw again on second down. Rodgers, and that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. From the gun, Rodgers. And this time he's got the hookup, it's complete. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Rodgers now on first down. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. And they were looking to throw, holding on a big right tackle. That's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. You just got to pick up a holding pop. Rodgers now to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Adams. Now the Packers going to burn their third and final timeout as they get it with just 19 seconds left on the clock. 319. Check, check. Walk 54. Walk 54. Looking to throw again on second down. Rodgers, and that is incomplete. 16 seconds now on the clock. Devontae Adams, the intended receiver, and it'll bring up third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Got a man, that's Allison. And he gets it down deep into San Francisco territory. A big offensive explosion help leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. From Lambeau, good night, everybody.